Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy PJ, and we're back at it with a special video this week. Um, actually, within the past few weeks, I actually just got a few different sponsorship opportunities. And um, so that's just weird. I've never got one like that before. And nonetheless, I got multiple of them at once. Um, I chose the one that didn't pay me, but that gave me free reign to destroy their products if it actually sucks. So I'm very excited to start this video. I'm sad to say they're actually really dope products. There's a company called Tone Pusher. Keanu put their logo up on the screen and like their little links and stuff. I, it's, in a, it's in a little readme file in here. Um, yeah, so Tone Pusher, they sent me a bunch of preset packs, eight to be precise. They told me which ones they thought were the best. They, you know, like they gave me free reign to talk about it. I really liked it. I thought they did a great job on the packs. The presets are all um, for serums. They're, uh, mostly styled around like i would say retro type sounds i guess you could say analog even though you know analog has to do with the circuitry and not actually the sound but you know it's like 80s stuff um it's pretty cool yeah. it's pretty dope and um i'm gonna tell you it's gonna be a very special video right here before I continue, I will say that they gave me a promo code, PJ15. Kiana, if you want to spell that on the thing, PJ15, um, it's going to be good for... I'm, I'm assuming 15% off their products. They didn't actually tell me what it's for, but you know I'm a big boy and I saw the 15 and I've got promo codes that end in 15 and that means 15% off to me. He heck, you know, why don't you go try it out? Buy their stuff. Maybe it's 50% off and they just put 15 because they like that number. I don't know. But yeah, that's the promo code. So yeah, right now I'm reading it. They said they would say their best packs are 80s iconic sounds, stranger sounds, analog horror, and synth wave. So those are the best sounds. Those are the ones they wanted me to use. I really want to use all of them. I want to make a video where I'm making a beat or instrumental using every single one one of the eight packs and using each one of the different types of sounds and the thing is i'm assuming they wanted me to do a uh, retro style beat and that's what i was going to do until i heard how dope these sounds are and i feel like there's one thing that uh, people in hip-hop production struggle with it's using synth presets because they don't know how to tweak them properly or how to use them in the right ways so i think this could be a very informative video to maybe make a little uzi vert type beat as opposed to a classic 80s uh you know synth wave type stuff and i do want to get back to those types of videos especially since my last one's blown up but uh i just think it'd be fun to just like mess around and see what i can really get out of these presets so yeah eight packs eight sounds we got i got one drum one fx riser a bass a pluck an arp a pad a synth and a lead obviously you can't have arps inside of serum so it's just another pluck and i'm gonna arp it um it's pretty funny i'm gonna start off with this pluck this pluck was called arp me i'm not gonna arp it because he wanted me to arp it but it sounds dope both ways um and the names of the packs are all right here and i'll tell you my favorite ones so 80s iconic sound analog quarter blah 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 you guys can read you guys are smart my favorites were synthwave and 80s iconic sounds i thought those were dope uh industrial sock would be super dope for like edm or future base i thought iconic game sounds is pretty cool it has these really cool leads and shit like that i'm using this actually tetris lead right here later on um if you want like retro sounds i I would say it's definitely more of a niche this iconic uh, game sounds one the darker stuff was probably my least favorite just because i'm not really into like dark sounds right now i'm into more like happier type stuff so i guess that's just kind of personal preference they're really dope they're really intricate um i just couldn't really figure out like it personally how i would incorporate it, that into like my more uh i guess like psychedelic type shit i'm doing atmospheric sounds that was insane these pads are nice i mean again i'm gonna go through all these at the end but we're gonna make something and then stranger sounds are super dope i like that too probably that was in the top three so yeah let's just get right to it i'm doing a whole lot of talking not a whole lot of playing so i gotta focus maybe put on some glasses no it always helps so first we got an a minor i think i want to make a chord progression with this like i said i want to be a douche so um pretty dope pluck can get pretty bassy too actually so I'm going to actually just start with a nice little A minor. And let's get the metronome going. Uh, Ooh, okay, all right, we're getting somewhere. Let's uh. Ch -ch -ch. Right down. 
dope. I don't know. It's not how I feel like it's not like a Uzi vibe. Oh, that's a dope progression. And then maybe like a little fill at the end. Ooh, okay. All right, we're going to work with this. I already hear Keanu yelling at me to keep it short. So I just, uh, I was like, I always do. I doubled over the pressure and changed it up at the last half. Oh, and I, I put it up an octave because I think it'd probably be better, like, especially when we want to put more instruments in to have this a little bit higher. So I also wanted the sound to be a little bit more Uzi esque. So what I did is I kind of put a little bit of portamento slide on it and I turned this little switch to always on because in a, lots of Uzi songs, like there's always little slides either in the arps or in like plucks. It's just like every single note, there's little like slides. It's almost like it's pretty trippy almost in a sense when you hear it like that. I'll play that in a second. And then I also just laid out the arp. Super simple. I kind of followed a similar rhythm, just stuck to the, all the notes in the uh, chord and then transpose certain stuff for like accents and stuff like that. So um, all together, that sounds like this. So my mans went crazy on the pads, especially in that atmospheric. Um, let me see, just make sure I got the name right. In the atmospheric sounds volume. And I just chose this one called Perfect Wub. Listen to how sexy this shit sounds. I'm gonna just play like a uh, easy little chords. so sexy i'm about to butcher it though because i don't know how it's going to fit in the mix too well so i may just kind of just go like this just get a little just a little ambience going on in the background so now i've got this synth called like the lovey synth sounds pretty cool to me um i have like a melody i kind of hear in my head so i have the um where's the piano roll there we go i have the the pentatonic scale kind of highlighted right now and let me just play this and then see if I can lay it out. That's fire. So now I gotta use that bass. Um, I'm making a trap beat, so I'm obviously gonna use an 808 as the main bass, but I wanna like go through his basses to see if we can like find something that we like that um, to like just maybe go as like an intro or something. And I found this bass right here called Enjoy the Bass, great name. Um, and I just laid out this simple little pattern, kinda sounds like this. Fire. So I'm gonna show you guys the lead next, and after that, I mean, it's all kind of like uh, miscellaneous type stuff, like the drum effects, the FX riser. I don't think you guys need to see that, but this is an interesting uh, thing to point out. So again, when you're using presets like I've been doing, you have to know how to tweak them. So for example, here was this lead, this Tetris lead. Um, originally, it didn't have a filter on, it had no attack, and I don't think it was a mono, and it didn't have a slide. So it just sounds like this. So, and I think I actually added the delay. And it was supposed to be like a very 8 bitty type sound. And it was very tough for me to find something like how I can fit that into the beat. So what I ended up doing is, um, one, I mean, I just saw it was very kind of like thin into the center and very like 8 bit to like kind of like, I wanted this to kind of like go around the rest of the sound. So that's why I added the delay. A lot of the times you'll notice when I was working with those other presets, I was getting rid of the delay. I was getting rid of the reverb because reverb and delay are time-based effects and time-based effects may not mesh well with other ones. It's very like, you have to know when you're going to use this effect, especially pre the pre mixing stage. Like I'm going to probably add in my own reverb and delay later and sound designers like to add them in now, but it's, you know, for the most part, it's just so you get an idea of what it actually sounds like i always like to personally remove them unless it's very slight or it's like key to the sound like in this instance i had a feeling that the delay would be key to the sound so i added it another thing i tweaked is again i added a filter i thought it was a little too high frequency so i put a just a filter on and then i actually i used um i think i used this envelope to kind of like sweep the filter so it doesn't go up all the way and then it does it stay it holds for a little bit and then it dies down. I put a little attack, I think like this much. 
something like that. And I made it a mono instrument because I like my leads and basses in mono. So that way, like, you know, like it's, there's going to be some voice stealing action, which is always pretty cool. And then I put a little portamento slide. So it's kind of like. And what I came up with was this. And I'm probably going to chop it up later. So see if I can figure out how to use this in the beat. Because I, I just did it freestyle in the scale. Uh, sounds like this. Let me actually pull up the. So yeah, fire. All right, so I just went crazy on the rest of this beat. I added so much other shit to it. Um, I kind of just want to play it for you guys before I give you my final thoughts on the presets. And uh, yeah, let's put that on. Keanu, go. I should have hit the stop button. He's going to roast me for this one. So there you have it. You got yourself a little psychedelic y little Uzi Vert type beat, maybe Ty Fontaine, some virtual type shit. So like if you're looking for good virtual presets, some good synth presets, uh Tone Pusher is definitely shit really cool. Like they had lots of shit, 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 good stuff there. And I'm talking like he actually knows his shit. Like I see people that call themselves sound designers and like they just tweak shit. Like this dude, I was looking how he was automating different things, how he was like utilizing the envelopes and LFOs and how he was like taking advantage of Serum's effects. Like he was doing things that even I like I, I mean obviously I'm not a professional sound designer but it's like I like to think I know my shit like this dude like he just kicked my ass like in regards to sound design right there so those packs really good I wouldn't like I can't say I can definitively recommend them for someone looking for hip-hop presets because they're not all oriented that way most of the patches are basses and leads and uh, pads you know the pl plucks are mostly like hip hop -y stuff there weren't too many plucks and a lot of the stuff like if you were one using it in a hip-hop hip context you'd probably have to tweak a little bit but for any other like electronic like type genre or like even if you're like a subsect of like a uh, hip-hop or trap like Lil Uzi Vert like if you're into that these are dope presets I highly recommend them um, I'm not gonna play them for you I mean I, I'm not that type of channel where I'm just going to play everything for you. That would just be boring. I made a cool beat. I have cool visuals. I hope that's enough for you guys. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace. <laughs>